Many people think of twinning apart and coming back together. This energy dynamic is sometimes called the push-pull, the running and chasing. We use a lot of different terms to define this, but what we're really talking about is this dynamic of coming together in the physical, in some way, with our twin flame for a period of time, and then experiencing periods of time in between where, in the physical world, we are very separated or distanced from them in some way. There is either an emotional, mental, or physical disconnect between us in some sense. Now, a constant regardless of whether we are in that coming together time or that pulling apart time, always inherently, there is a connection that exists. In fact, the most intense, powerful, magnetic connection we can have with another soul on this planet. And I spoke more on that in my second podcast coming up today, which is Twin Flame Relationship versus Twin Flame Connection. So if you haven't yet explored that, be sure to listen to that first to give us some context for what we are talking about here because the Twin Flame Relationship and the Twin Flame Connection are very different things. The connection is the bond that exists energetically between us and our twin flame. Always when I talk about not being able to let go of a twin flame completely or sever this connection, I am literally referring to the connection aspect. That it is impossible to cut ties of the connection with our twin flame because we didn't create them to begin with. They have always inherently existed. That connection predates this lifetime. In fact, it dates back to the very origin of our soul. This person is the other aspect of ourselves, the yin to the yang, the masculine to our feminine, or vice versa. There is an inherent connection energetically that simply just is, that defies being defined or understood through concrete physical words or explanations, even though, of course, we do often try from our ego's perspective to understand it and define it through these concrete terms to give us a sense of groundedness, of stability, that stability and validation that the ego is always longing for. But again, there's more on that in my other podcast. But in this video specifically, I want to talk about layers of twin flame separation and also why twin flame separation is actually, at times, for certain twin flame couples, a necessary thing and not even a negative aspect of this journey. Even though, at times, of course, we can experience a lot of painful, emotionally and physically uncomfortable sensations when we are perceiving that disconnect. That is the key here. Separation is a perceived disconnect, not a true disconnect, but in spite of those sensations that we have during separation that are very real and can be very uncomfortable to our conscious physical self, I really want to redefine or give us a better understanding of twin flame separation, particularly how it can happen in layers or phases. Because very often, we talk about different stages of the twin flame journey, and these stages can be really helpful for applying some kind of physical terminology or understanding to these energetic experiences. But at the end of the day, these stages are not linear. When we talk about stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, we're really talking about different kinds of energy dynamics we tend to experience in the physical with our twin flame. But they don't necessarily happen in a certain set order. In fact, each of us is on a very unique and highly individualized journey that we pre-decided on a soul level with our twin flame, including these times of sacred space between us and the physical, between us and the physical. But before I get into more do you want to introduce myself to anyone who is new. So if you, if you're new to the concept of twin flames, I want to briefly explain what it means. Twin flames are believed to be two souls that originated from the same energetic source, sometimes referred to as the divine or the creator. These souls are said to be mirror reflections of each other, representing both the masculine and feminine aspects of a single soul. Twin flames are believed to have a deep, intense, and often challenging connection that is meant to help them grow spiritually and evolve. Now, let's explore the layers or phases of twin flame separation. It's important to note that these phases are not necessarily linear and can overlap or occur in different orders for different individuals. Each twin flame journey is unique, and the timing and progression of these phases can vary. Physical separation this is the most common phase of twin flame separation that people often think of. It refers to a period of physical distance or separation between the two individuals. It could be due to various reasons such as geographical distance, life circumstances, or even the twin flames consciously choosing to take time apart to focus on their individual growth. During this phase, there can be a sense of longing and yearning for the other person. 1. Emotional Separation this phase involves an emotional disconnect between the twin flames. It can occur even when the twin flames are physically together. Emotional separation may happen when there are unresolved issues, 
conflicts, or emotional barriers that prevent the deep emotional connection from fully manifesting. This phase often requires inner healing and emotional growth for both individuals. 2. Spiritual Separation This phase relates to a temporary disconnection on a spiritual level. It is when one or both twin flames may feel disconnected from their spiritual path or their higher selves. It could involve a period of spiritual growth, introspection, or seeking a deeper understanding of their purpose. Spiritual separation can lead to spiritual awakenings and a realignment with one's soul mission. 3. Union and Separation Cycles Twin flame journeys often involve cycles of union and separation. These cycles can occur repeatedly throughout the journey and serve as opportunities for growth and transformation. During the union phase, the twin flames come together, experiencing deep love, connection, and harmony. However, after a period of union, a separation phase may follow, allowing each individual to integrate the lessons learned and continue their individual growth. These cycles continue until both twin flames have reached a state of inner wholeness and are ready for a more permanent union. It's important to remember that twin flame separation, although challenging, serves a purpose in the journey. It provides an opportunity for individual growth, healing, and self-discovery. The ultimate goal of the twin flame journey is not just union with the other person but also the union of the individual with their true self and the divine. And the divine.